Hey guys, what's up? This is the first video that I'm making in my new apartment. I can't believe this is happening right now. What a great way to start off 2018. It's been a while since I've been on here and I have so much to tell you guys. So I figured to get back to basics and just kind of chit chat, get ready with me. It's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on in my life, where I've been, why I've been gone so long, what's going on. So just sit back and relax with me, do your makeup, maybe you're making breakfast. So you might wanna grab a snack or something. I have my my tea here, so we're gonna be just chilling for a bit. Um, I already have my moisturizer on. I know I'm gonna be talking a lot and probably fast because I'm really excited. This is the first time I made a video in here. So um, I will have everything listed as well as linked down below in the description as always, how I usually do it in case I forget to like talk about whatever product I'm using because I have a feeling that's gonna happen a lot today. So I'm just using what's left of my NYX Hydra Touch Primer. This stuff's really good, I'm still using it. I have so many things I need to go repurchase because I just haven't been makeup shopping. I haven't been really focused on makeup for the past month, month and a half or so. First of all, let me just tell you, Happy New Year, Happy 2018. I really just can't believe how quickly the past month just flew by. I feel like I was, I was just so overwhelmed and I'll get into that later, but I'm also like at the point where now I can enjoy it because moving's done, finals are done, got the new job, like it's crazy. I'm Everything happened for me all at once, so it's been pretty exciting. To change the subject really quick, I have this Maybelline foundation. It's a newer one. They redid the old uh, Superstay foundation. They used to have this a long time ago. I remember because it was orange on me, straight up orange back in the day. Um, but this is the shade 112 Natural Ivory, the same shade that I buy in the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It comes with a pump. It was around like $12. I bought it at Walgreens. I'm just going to start off with one pump here because this foundation is full coverage. I like to first just get the foundation on with my brush and then just to kind of even things out a bit, I go in with a sponge afterwards. But this foundation really does uh, last a long time. So what I've been up to, I've been up to a lot of things lately. I don't know if I mention it on here on my channel, but I know I talked about how I had a job interview a while ago. It was actually in another previous Get Ready With Me. And so I got the job, which I was like, ah, I'm so happy, I really wanted this job. So I got the job and I am a caregiver now. I really love it. I wanted this job so badly. And it took a long time for me to go through the interview process, but I got it done. And then um, I started working right around the same time that I moved. So it was a little stressful because I had to go through training and um, I had finals week happening at the same time, which I passed all of my classes. I passed the finals. I was really struggling because I had a math final that was very difficult for me. I'm not... Uh, math is not my strong point and um, I have to go up to a certain level so I had to pass this class basically and I was just freaking out about it <laughs> like I really was I kind of wish I could have postponed things like I wish I could have moved a week after finals but it just didn't work out that way I had to go with the flow I should just move on to another subject which a lot of you guys have been asking me about actually on Twitter and snapchat um, where I've been getting furniture and because I've been showing like little snaps of stuff here and there like this organizer behind me I got at Ikea and I know every youtuber shops at Ikea. Okay, make all the jokes you want I love Ikea. I always have even when I was a kid. I had Ikea furniture. So go ahead and hate um, Ikea makes good stuff for small apartments So I just like to go in and set my under eye and then a little bit around here but I don't really set the rest of my face because this foundation, it dries down to a matte finish. And I do like the shade number 112. I don't feel like it's exactly the same shade as the 112 in the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I don't know why, but I feel like this natural ivory is just a shade or two deeper than the natural ivory in the 112 Fit Me. I don't know what the full shade range is, but there were about like 10 shades at Walgreens and I got this one. It does claim to be full coverage up to 24 hour wear, seamless matte finish, 
breathable, comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, um, doesn't clog pores. I have worn this one about five times now to work and just on regular days. And I do feel like it is really matte, especially for me with, with the dry skin. So I don't really like to set it with powder. I haven't worn it for 24 hours. I've had it on for like 12 plus hours and I didn't notice any really bad like wear down other than like my nose area. Sometimes like I blow my nose with tissue and stuff. But yeah, this is really long wearing and it is great coverage. I mean, full, full coverage. So if you like full coverage stuff, I think this is a good one to check out. And so far I'm liking it. I don't have like, I don't know if I'll do a full video on it, but so far I like it. And I would consider repurchasing it actually. I really do like it. And um, I also have been really liking this foundation. Oh my goodness. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. It's a newer one, SPF 15. And I bought the lightest one at, that I saw. This is Light Ivory number 106A. And it looks like it wouldn't match, like the packaging, like it, it doesn't look like it would match me, but it's actually a great everyday, kind of more of a skin-like foundation. It is so pretty. It is gorgeous. I've been wearing this, um, especially to work um, when I have like early shifts and I don't, I don't, I still want to have a little bit of makeup, but I don't want to go like all out, get my beauty blender, you know? This is great for that. And even just on like low key days, like this is so pretty and gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna be talking about that one again. I think I, I like them both, but they I use them both for different things. So I feel like sometimes that happens with makeup. It's That's why we have different foundations and different finishes. I'm just using my good old Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the light one and I need a new one. Look at this. I told you, like, I need, I'm need. i running out of my cool, everyday staple stuff. I'm running out of my staples. I need to get some primer. I need to get some bronzer. My brushes are dirty. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. But yeah, so back to what I was saying about Snapchat. A lot of you have been asking me, like, oh, where'd you buy your desk? And where'd you buy the organizer? It's all from Ikea. I know, judge me all you want. I love Ikea furniture, especially because, first of all, they have affordable options. Second of all, they have um, good things if you have like small a small apartment or just small spaces, they make really good stuff for that. So I went to Ikea, all my bedroom furniture was Ikea anyway, so I kind of wanted to keep the theme going, I guess. And uh, yeah, I went to Ikea and it was, it was lit. They have the meatballs, the Swedish meatballs. <laughs> I love the cafe. Like you guys haven't tried it. Like if you, if you've never been to the cafe at Ikea, I'm not talking about downstairs where you get the hot dogs and the cinnamon rolls. That's good too. But I like upstairs where the meatballs and the mashed potatoes and the lingonberries. Yes. Just get, let's go, let's have a lunch date at Ikea. Like I would go. The organizer that you see behind me, that was like my first fun buy because I had to get my bases covered first, like kitchen table, couple chairs, forks, knives, you know, like I get all this stuff I like really use every day first. And then I got some fun stuff and this was my first fun buy. And I was like, I need something that I could put I can, I can put things in, but I also want to display fun stuff and maybe, I don't know, like I just wanted something that was functional but cute at the same time. So on the bottom row, I have like my cords and like chargers, ugly stuff. I have all that hidden. And then I have like some cute stuff I put in the top. My milk glass, which you guys have always seen in pretty much all my videos. Um, because I do collect milk glass and I get it as gifts because like my family knows I collect it. So I usually get milk glass like for birthday gifts and stuff. And I've had these all for years. Some of them were even my mom's. So I put those in the back and I still have those holding my brushes. And I just, I just love my milk glass. Like I'm never going to get rid of that. And I wanted to display it in my new place, but in kind of a different way. So I have my milk glass here. I have my little Morty, <laughs> my little Morty figure. My favorite part about this whole process is just slowly kind of tying everything together and making it feel homey, making it feel comfortable and cozy. That's like my goal for the new year. I really want to make this place and just like turn it into my home. Good old makeup geek 
in the nude palette i love these shadows i love makeup geek shadows i'm taking this one called buffed in the middle and it reminds me of creme brulee and i actually haven't really shared everything with you guys going on in my life but i feel ready to now um my parents are getting divorced and that really hit me around the holidays like i i was dealing with it and i was feeling okay but then once the holidays kind of hit i was like oh right like this is it like this is not it but different it was very different for me and um i had to deal with that you know i had to go through it and the reality of it really hit me around that time so that on top of like how i was feeling overwhelmed was not a good mix it was not a good mix but i'm okay i mean i've, I've always been all right but if it wasn't for the help of my friends and my family i would not know where i would be right now i mean there was a point where i felt so upset and stressed that i almost wanted to drop my classes and i mean i'm sure everyone has i know everyone has problems i know everyone has struggles i know classes get hard and you feel like you want to drop them but it wasn't even because of how hard they were it was just because of i felt like giving up i just didn't want to do anything and there was a point where i almost did that but yeah i'm i'm not gonna lie i really did feel there were days where i was so happy because i was moving out i'm doing this and you know got the job and i love it and then other days i was just upset i was angry i was hurt crying you know it's just I don't know it's been a wild ride like the past month has been a lot for me emotionally i've just been kind of all over the place and i did feel at one point like i wanted to drop out like i just was done i was like i don't want to do this anymore it's too much it's stressful it's taking up my time and luckily i had the strength of my classmates my friends and you know even some of my professors were like it's okay you know you just gotta take it a day at a time and Ooh, they were so right. You know, there were some days where I just didn't feel like doing anything to be completely honest. And I'm still going through like the emotions of it all and the reality of it all. And now that the holidays are over, I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier for me to move on and for me to just go about my life, you know? But it was hard. The hardest part was just seeing my parents go through it. Okay. So I had to take a break <laughs> because it was, it's not easy for me to talk about and I guess that's why I never really mentioned it or brought it up because I don't know, it never came up. Plus, I feel like it's hard to talk about, sometimes it's hard to just talk about your feelings, let alone big changes like that and I never really wanted to talk about it in a post or something. I just felt like if I was going to say it, I wanted to say it to you in, in a video and just let you know what's been going on. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who are going through the same things. I know everybody has struggles and problems, whether you think they do or not, you know? And I guess I've always been kind of a person that likes to keep to themselves. I've always been more of a quiet person. I really can't stress enough if you guys are going through anything right now, whether it's something that you're dealing with or someone you know is dealing with, I can't recommend enough to try to at least write your feelings down and just acknowledge them and let yourself know that it's okay to not be 100% okay every day all the time because that was my issue. It was like one day I was fine. I would be like, oh yeah, like let's go to Ikea. I gotta get furniture. And then the next day I'd be so upset and i didn't want to do anything and it was just like this up and down and i felt so emotional i can't i can't stress enough how grateful i am for the people who were there for me and who are still there for me and i've actually talked with a couple of you guys who were asking me like hey is everything okay because i really wasn't okay like i was all right i was doing okay but like my mind my emotions were not okay and I didn't really want to talk about that. I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable getting on here. I've actually tried filming this video a couple times before and I was just not having a good day. And I didn't want to, I could tell in the video that I was so, you could just tell like the look on my face. It, it was not, I really wasn't happy and I didn't feel comfortable posting it because I could tell how much I was uncomfortable making it, you know? And 
I think that's why I just really felt good after taking such a long break. I didn't intend to do it, but I feel like I needed it in order to just collect myself and get my thoughts together and get my get my life together you know what I mean I had a lot that I needed to like sort out and I'm still sorting it out I don't have everything figured out that's not what I'm saying but you know that's what I've been doing and I really wanted to share honestly with you guys what's been going on because you guys are a big part of my life too and I know that some of you are you know want to know and you you care about what's going on and that means so much so i just wanted to share what i'm going through because i feel like maybe it'll help someone else who's going through a rough time right now or maybe um you just want someone to talk to you could always chat with each other you can always write me a letter i love chatting with you guys on a more personal level i know it might not be easy to just comment in the section for everyone to see what you're going through so I totally get that and you know I didn't share this with you guys for a while because it didn't really hit me until now until recently thank you guys so much for letting me vent and thank you to the people who I did um, talk to a couple of you like privately and it really does mean a lot that people really do care all right we've got to get back to the makeup here this is one of my latest purchases I just had to get this I swatched it at Ulta and I was like you know what I'm gonna use my points on this. I don't care. I need it. Like, that's how much I really liked it. So, it's the Stila New Liquid Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow. Yeah, Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow. So, this isn't the Magnificent Metal. I just fell in love with this color at Ulta as soon as I swatched it. Let me show you guys here. This one's called Cloud. It is so gorgeous. I don't really wear like purple kind of colors, it looks purple more in the shade. I really like this color. I don't typically go for these like grayish colors, but I don't know, something about Cloud really just kind of caught my eye. And I really like these Stila um, glitters anyway, the Magnificent Metals ones. So I had to give the new one a try or the newer formula. I'm not sure how old these are, but they're new to me. So I just really, I went to Ulta like the other day for the first time in a long while and uh, I just kind of had a good old time, you know, I just getting back to basics, you know, new year, new points. <laughs> I love Ulta so much because the one I go to, everyone's really nice. I got to get, I think, some more lighting because this place has a lot less natural light than my old apartment did. So um, if you guys are like really good at lighting if you know if you if you guys have your own channels and stuff please let me know what you use for your lights because i've been using the same ones for a couple of years because nothing's wrong with them i'm still going to use these lights but i think i just need to add one or two more just to brighten things up because now that the sun's going down do you see how dark it gets in here but yeah i'm kind of making my living room more of a makeup area like makeup slash study room just like an office, I guess. Little home office area. Because why not? Ooh, and you know what else? As far as furniture goes, I really lucked out and I got a nightstand that matches my bed from Ikea. I got a, the nightstand I wanted too. I found it in the as is section for like 40% off. I was like, I went to Ulta, so let me show you what I got. Let's just do a mini Ulta haul right now, why not? So the first thing I got was the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. I got the Superstay Foundation. I had to restock on my good old Mario Badescu. This is the Cucumber Green Tea Aloe Facial Spray. Oh my goodness, this stuff is the best. So I bought the big bottle this time. And then I had to get my favorite eyelashes again because my old pair, totally worn out, um, these are the I Wore Vegas Nay Luxe Collection. This is like a specific line, I guess, from Vegas Nay because there's a ton of Vegas Nay I Lure lashes, but I like the bronze beauty ones. Check these out. They're so pretty. I'm not going to wear them today because I don't, I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm just going to be making dinner, you know, just chill. Another Maybelline item. They have new shades of these Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks. They have like, I want to say eight or ten new shades and they're all kind of 
like there's bold colors and then there's like neutral pretty colors. I knew they were gonna do that because they came out with a ton on their initial launch, but then they didn't have that many like neutrally colors. So they came out with a couple and this was the one that caught my eye. It is called Seductress, Seductress. I like the color. Let's give it a swatch. These are really good. They last all day. Look at that. Ooh, I love this color. Doesn't smell bad. I love this color. It is so pretty. Great everyday color. Looking forward to that. And then the last thing I got was a refill on my brow pencil. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Pencil. I love these and I just used one up. And I actually did film an empties video like before I moved and it's I think I still have it. I'm gonna check my on my desktop if I have it still. I'm back. I had to take a snack break. I got so hungry because I didn't eat anything for lunch today. I was just at work and I didn't have time to eat. Lately I've been wearing um, e.l.f. highlighters but also I've been using my Milani blush as a highlighter but I want to share with you guys a new find. So this is a recent purchase of mine. I got this at Walgreens. It's only five bucks from Wet n Wild. It's their Hello Halo liquid highlighter. And I'm not usually a liquid highlighter girl. I prefer powders like the Wet n Wild powder highlighters. These are really good too. But this color, it's kind of like a white base with a blue pink shift to it. Anything blue, I just want to get it. So I got this. And I'm not, it did not disappoint me. This, this is my favorite. Other than the foundation, you guys, I really love the foundation too. But if you see these Mega Glow Hello Halo highlighters, Hello Halo highlighters, if you see one of these, check them out. I just put a little dot on each side. So I just like to take like the bottom part of my sponge and just kind of push it. Ooh, look at how... Look at how pretty this is. I, oh my goodness. I love this color. So here it is. The shade is called Halo Graphic. It is so pretty. I really like these and they're very pigmented. I actually feel like that one drop I did was a lot. And <laughs> like next time I'll probably tone it back a little bit. Usually I wear these um, when I don't have foundation because they actually do give a little bit of coverage. And sometimes on days where I just want to like go, I'll just add a little bit of highlighter and be done with it. And it looks good. I just put a little bit of lip liner and then I really want to try this color today. I haven't tried it at, on my lips at all. So, oh, I just dropped some. Ew. Good thing I put a tissue down because every time I do my makeup, you should see my desk afterwards. It is always a mess. Even when I try not to make a mess, it's just inevitable. And I love the applicator because it's kind of got the tip at the end and you can really get in the... Ooh, that is a pretty color. And when you first put it on, it is really shiny, but it does dry down. Just takes a minute and then you're good and then it sets. All I did was I put a little bit of the Mocha eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in my brows. It's this one right here. It's just a matte brown shadow. I really like this. Lately I've just been doing this for quick brows. And then I set it with some of this e.l.f. Um, clear brow gel, lash and brow gel. These are like $2 at pretty much every drugstore. And I really like this, the way it sets my brow. Like, this is my new favorite brow gel. Because my hairs have been getting really long. I haven't, um, I haven't been, um, tweezing my brows as much. Because I kind of like the, the way that the thicker brows have been looking lately. I'm just going to add a little bit of this. Mmm. Smells so good. I love it. I wish I could just have a candle that smelled like this Mario Badescu spray. It is so awesome. That's it for the makeup today. I pretty much put like a ton of stuff on my face. I don't think I could do any more today. So we'll have to save the rest for another day. I do want to have a like full review on these highlighters soon because I'm loving them. I've been wearing them ever since I bought these. I really like those. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like planning out what my reviews are going to be for the month. And it feels so good to get back to just sitting down and chatting with you guys. And putting on makeup and playing with makeup of course. But... 
Let me know if you guys have any recommendations for drugstore makeup specifically. I would love to hear like what's new, what you guys have been looking forward to because I'm kind of out of the loop, you know, to be transparent. I haven't really been keeping up with the latest um, other than what I saw at Ulta the other day and Walgreens, but I do plan on making a wet well order soon. Um, again, these two products have been really good for me. I really like those, but that aside, it's really hard to end the video. I feel like it was hard to start and it's hard to end. It's like, I feel like it's been a while. It's been so long for me. Um, you know, I've been making videos for the past like four years. So to have such a long break felt very strange to me. And, um, you know, even though I feel like I didn't need a break at the same time, I was really happy to get back to it. And I'm looking forward to, like I said, just making this place home and really getting my like set up the way I want it the way I I feel comfortable with it so thank you for being patient thank you for being here but for being on my channel for watching me you guys support me so much more than you know just from watching my videos really and the people who showed concern when I was when I was gone it really did mean a lot to me because I was down I was feeling really down and just hearing your, from you guys really made my day and I feel like this platform people forget how amazing it can be and how much it really can bring people together because that's what I love about it and I know that there are some issues right now with YouTube and I get that and I, I know because I'm a part of it but at the same time it does do a lot of good and it does bring a lot of people together and that's what I love about it. I've made friendships through YouTube. I've made connections with people through YouTube. And I write the same people for a couple years now from different parts of the world that I probably never would have met otherwise. It's just incredible when I really think about it. Um, I just want to say again, thank you for the support. And thank you really so much for being here and just hanging out. It means more than you know. All right, I'm going to try not to cry again. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it for today's video and as always thank you so much for watching.